In this example, we are going to solve for this third order differential equation using the Laplace transform. I've written the same expression that you have in the exercise here using the convention established in lecture two, where each dot on the variable here represents the first derivative. Let's go ahead and take the Laplace transform at both sides of this equation, starting with the first term, y triple dot, or the third derivative of y. y of t becomes y of s, and the third derivative, the Laplace transform of the third derivative is s to the power of 3. For the second term, we have the second derivative, y becomes y of s, and the second derivative, s squared. The third term, we have 5y of s times s, and the next term is 2 times simply y of s. y of t becomes y of s. And the last term, the, the Laplace transform of exponential of negative t is 1 over s plus 1. If you now look at this big polynomial here, all s's are uh, all terms are multiplied by y of s. We can factor y of s. This will give s to the power of 3 plus 4s squared plus 5s plus 2 equals 2, 2 over s plus 1. This polynomial is a third order polynomial, thus it has three roots. So we can now rewrite this polynomial as a function of its roots, as shown. And this again equals to 2 to the power 2 divided by 1 plus s plus 1. If you now divide, move s plus 1 squared times s plus 2 to this side of the equation, we are going to have 2 over s plus 1 squared divided by s plus 2. We have y of s is 2 over s plus 1 to the power of 3 times s plus 2. Our job now is to find the inverse Laplace of y of s. This will require partial fraction decomposition. And we have a third order polynomial here. We can now decompose this into a form that we have four partial fractions. Those are a over s plus 1 to the power of 3 plus b s plus 1 squared plus c divided by s plus 1 and plus d d divided by s plus 2. Now we need to find a, b, c, and d. The process of finding this coefficients is exactly the same as outlined in the last exercise. Find the common denominator here, create the system of four equations now, and find a, b, c, and d. I'm going to skip that part because this would be quite long given that we have a third order polynomial here. But again, the process is exactly the same as in the last exercise. For this particular example, a is 2, b is negative 2, c is positive 2, and d is negative 2. So y of s, this, each of these fractions will fall into ex the exactly same inverse Laplace case. The only inverse Laplace formula that we need is n factorial divided by s minus a over n plus 1 equals to t to the power of n exponential of a t. You see that it, all these fractions fall in this category here. Let's look at the first term. The first term, we have our 
s plus 1 here, where a is negative 1. n plus 1 equals to 3. n plus 1 equals to 3. So the, for the first element, n equals to 2. For the second element, n plus 1 equals to 2. So n equals to 1. And for the last element, n plus 1 equals to 1. So n here is 0. And n here is also 0. Back to the first term now. We need to find a factorial of n. n in this case is 2. 2 factorial is 2. And we have it there already. So this entire fraction simplifies in the, frequent, in the time domain. That is y of t. S t squared is n exponential of negative t. The second term, negative 2, we have factorial of 1 is 1. And t to the power of 1 exponential of negative t. The third term is 2 exponential of negative t, or t to the power of 0, that's 1, minus 2, same thing, exponential in this case, negative 2, t, uh, a is negative 2. And this is now the time response of that third order differential equation.